The Truth and Reconciliation Commission was a response to Indian education, both on-reserve on day schools and Indian residential schools. And the idea of uh, uh, Indian education uh, as part of the government's policy was to teach Indian children obedience to authority. That was the duty and responsibility of teachers in the Indian Affairs manuals. And that caused great harm, according to the Prime Minister, uh, two of them in a row. Uh, uh, Stephen Harper and Justin Trudeau, who challenged Canadians uh, to partner with Native people to remedy problems created by the education policy of the federal government. The remedy is then to partner with Canadians to uh, remedy the social, economic, political, environmental and medical barriers to equality of life facing Indigenous people by government policy. Want to raise? Go take the FNMI then, uh, AQ, right? You have nothing to lose. Also though, you might learn something, right? And what will they learn is the question. What will they learn about the native population? 51% of 1.68 million people who check the box with indigenous ancestry, 51% of them live in Ontario. Uh, 400,000 live in the 401 corridor from Montreal to Sarnia. So with the, the uh, importance of Ontario at the frontier of the TRC, the, t uh, the teachers can be on the frontier of facing those challenges that two prime ministers in a row said, our, our, policy, our, gov uh, our education policy did great harm and caused great harm, and you will not have to shoulder that burden anymore. We will partner with you. Two prime ministers in a row said that. So that's not our problem, that's your problem. John A is not our problem, he's your problem. I've, there's not a single Indian school I know that's, got a, that's dedicated to John A. Macdonald. There's no John A. Macdonald statues on any Indian reserve. So we don't have the problem. We know he was a jerk, a creep, right? You didn't. So you've got the problem, not us. So why don't you partner with us and we'll help you with your problem. We have this phrase, Sungwe Adisa Dasadanya Dea Sidonia, Don Onene Neola Taha Quedi No Edi, Yetini Stoha, Wancha Dea Asagone, Jira, Wizo Dewion Stodji No Hodene Aguego, Yetini Stoha, Wancha De, Don Aguego, Agon Guedo, De Oni Just On Quedo, De Ayonghe, Oni, Don One Gadilio, Don Gadjikar Hago, Don Onene Aguego, Don Onene Ganuira, Don't Sadji No Hodene as a Dewion Stodji. In Mohawk, we say that we uh, look at all of these things and try to understand the world that we live in, right? But it starts off with this. Um, you were sent here, uh, he sent his breath through you. And that you're here for your walk on the earth. And there are people who will help you to see uh, as you look around at, at the earth we live on, right? So I'll say, I'll put it back this way. <clears throat> Every person is born with a gift. Your parents, your teachers, and people who are in your life help you, give you a whole bunch of experiences so that you can discover your gift. And then there are a whole bunch of other people who help you give your gift because your gift isn't a gift until it's given. Right? That's why I think education is. It's that uh, you have a gift and uh, if you've been traumatized, and you've had other people do things to you and bury your gift under their crap, all right, we're going to have to peel that crap away so that you can find your gift. And then uh, it might be, try this. Are you any, do you like that? Well, we'll try this then. Do you like that? How about this? Would you like that? And you like this the most, right? Okay, so let's talk about that some more. To rewind it back to what I'm saying about the way I look at education is that Every human being has, is, comes here with a gift and we need to help them identify their gift and then we help them give their gift because we need them to help us have a happy life on, their, on our walk on the earth. Signs and symbols of culture are not culture. Don't teach me about rattles and drums and beadwork because those are just signs and symbols of culture. They're media. 
what they communicate is a conception of the good life. And that's what we have to decode, is teach people how to decode the signs and symbols of our culture. What does the bar leaf bar really mean? What does Mounties mean? What does the maple leaf mean? What does your culture has all kinds of signs and symbols that communicate your conception of the good life, and what is it? Well, the bar leaf bar. We're the debating society up here. We holler at each other and, and holler across the House of Commons, the opposition and the government on two sides, right? The Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens, right? We've got dialogical engagement all over Canadian culture. It's a sign and symbol of Canadian culture. The signs and symbols of Canadian culture communicate a conception of the good life that goes without saying it's what we do. We're having a conversation now. We're dialogically engaged with each other. The United States, a whole different uh, uh, conception of the good life, right? That's communicated through their signs and symbols of culture. Uh, arts, arts education is an important part. I'm talking to your teachers now. Arts education is something that is central to education that's mostly avoided now. In 1972, the Department of Indian Affairs funded a project called the Schreiber Island Project for the Manitou Arts Foundation that had 115 native kids, uh, uh, high school students, like around 17, 18, 19, from all over Ontario and sent them to a camp and populated that world with um, Daphne Ojik, uh, Carl Ray, Buckley Petawabino, Bernard Sinoui, Duke Redbird, uh, uh, Al Dokis, uh, Marie Mertieu from Montreal, and they did art and wrote a report. And, and Reva Gerstein from the University of Toronto wrote the report for the, to the federal government on the Schreiber Island project, and she said, arts education is loving the children. You should infuse the native curriculum with arts education so that you can build self-esteem among the indigenous people, the Indian children, she said in those days. This was 70, of course Indian Affairs never did that, right? Why? You can't have a bunch of self-esteem native people running, they'll want their country back. <laughs> but I'm a big believer in arts, like singing, dancing, painting, drawing, you know? And any time that you do anything, I'll tell the teachers this, give the, give the students the opportunity to choose how they want to answer the question you ask. Write a poem? Sure. Draw a picture? Sure, you could do that too. Uh, make paper mache uh, sculpture? Sure, you could do that. Uh, write a little report? Yeah, you could do that too. Whatever, however you want to answer the question is up to you, you know. And that's something that that encourages creativity and divergent thinking in the student, right? <laughs>